What is up guys, I am 63Z and I'm here after streaming uh, twice I think or something like that. Last night I was streaming Halo Wars 2 as it was the beta. I'm still going to be playing a bit more maybe tonight as well. I'm not sure how much of it I'll be recording as well as tomorrow night until the beta ends because I really want to play more of that. Four nights ago I was playing online with my brother and I was just literally streaming it. It was, it was a really crappy stream. The connection on the game was fairly decent com considering I was doing it. Um, this and one other clip of just me getting the other person on the other team to kill the hostage with my drone is um, a little just, but these are the two best things from that whole stream. This is probably my best game, or one of my best games from it, or well, probably one of the more interesting ones at least. Uh, I'm going to walk through it, because I didn't, rec I wasn't expecting it to be such a good thing. I wasn't actually streaming my face cam for it, I was just literally streaming the gameplay, that was it. Um, as you'll be able to see from right here, you'll be able to see the whole team that we had. Me and my brother, Toby's P Polar Bear 94, he was just, he's been going at Blackbeard fairly well. Um, I don't know, I was trying to, trying out a bit of Thatcher, and this was the first game I just, um, well, not one of the first games, it was one of the games in tonight, it's probably like four, fourth or fifth, we were playing for a good about four or five hours, something like that. Um, for a while we were playing, and we ended up finding Yippie Kaye, motherfucker. Um, randomly, and we're like, oh, do you want to party up with us? You know, we can go a three-way party. And then we ended up running into Figure of Speech, uh, which is the thermite on the screen. And then that was on Yacht. And then eventually, after, I think it was the fourth or fifth game, a couple games before this one, Claymore joined, and it made me think, oh, maybe this game should have Claymores for, like, Defenders or something like that. Um, and I said that just before he came in the... Actually, just as he came in the game, and he started to laugh at it because he thought it was because of his name. I actually just thought of it in general, and then I saw he joined, or he joined at the same time, something like that. But me, we were all ended up in being in a party together. We weren't in game chat, so you won't hear them talking. You won't hear me talking. But this is the whole game of it. I'm not sure if we won. I'm not sure if we lost. I've completely forgotten. I haven't watched it through since we played it. So I'm just going to commentate over it and go through what we were actually talking about, what we were saying at the point in time, because everyone was really talkative. Um, and just really communicative. I, I, a lot of the time I only got my perspective, obviously because I was playing, and I'm not sure how I did with the cameras on the game, but you know, we'll get into it. Okay, so, <coughs> this is the first round. I was playing Thatcher, we got a Thermite, Ash, Blackbeard, and Fuse. I'm pretty sure this is a, a um, uh, like a secure the area one. It's on the presidential plane. They, um, I was told to go in here because they thought it was in here. I was down the completely wrong end, so I tried to bolt down as fast as I could. And I'm seeing two guys just as I pass through here. Yeah, two guys. Oh, one guy. And trying to hide around the corner quickly before they saw me. Trying to jump around. I'm pretty sure they got me in the end, though, before my thing got away. No? Okay, it got away. I was just waiting, and then... Okay. I went back into it because I didn't want it to be found or anything like that, but they shot it. <clears throat> so I was just, I was just trying to get somewhere to get a good kind of spot because that's usually you want to be able to have access to the general area where everyone will try and go so you can get rid of the equipment. So I ran over to the other side of the plane to go into the main entrance on this side as you're, as you're seeing. They rushed Toby so he got done straight away by Bandit and if I had guys at this point in time it would have been so good because I think, I think it was right in here if someone was just walking around on the other side of the window. And I was like, oh, I should so kill these motherfuckers. Yeah, right here, they just keep walking around. If I had glass, I could have nailed two of them, three of them and killed them all. So, I'm not sure if I was like, show the whole complete gameplay or just the, like, the really, the interesting parts of it. But I completely fucked that one up. It didn't go all the way in properly. It just went at the very door. And I wanted it to go all the way in. And as I did this, I think I, Toby was dead, so, he was like, I don't have any cameras to go off of. So I blew that open before I I, th I threw in another one of them, but I was going to throw in a drone for him to use so he could see. I, I don't know if I actually did got in for him. And I fucked that one up too right there, didn't I? Because Claymore dies, I, I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure. I think so. Yeah, I throw in another drone so Toby can use it. I go to put it in, but then I see him coming around the corner. I'm like, oh shit, i got to get out of the drone. i got to get out of the drone. And I could not get him in time. So I got fucked up because I was trying to give Toby a drone. That's one but worst thing about being close to the door is when you're trying to do sh shit like that, they rush you and you get fucked in the ass. I don't know how he did not kill him though. I was when I was watching that, I was just like, "What are you doing? What are you doing?" At this point, we're just we can't give you any kind of you know support. It's just all you. 
do your best, otherwise, you know, we're fucked. Obviously, I can't tell you what he was going for, but at the point in time, I remember him saying, fuck being on this side, I'm gonna die. I have a minute 30 to get there, I'm not gonna get this. I'm like, dude, you can totally get this in the amount of time, you just gotta be like, fucking fast about it, you know, you can like, do the whole drop thing. He put a fuse charge on this goddamn door, right? We were saying this to him, like, why are you putting it right there? Why are you putting it right there? There's not gonna be anyone in there. There's no point in doing that. And it fucks him over later, because you'll see why in a minute. So he's completely confused about how to do this. He doesn't know how to go about it. He's he's good, but he's not like someone who takes it incredibly seriously. And so you see, you see the doofer guy go outside right here. He's like, okay, I'm gonna go through right here. And we well, said to him, you know, you could have had the fuse charge and put it on that wall. And as he walks past right now, blow it up. But then he just tried to do it like that. And in, in the end, he gets fucked up. Okay, so this time we were defending. Usually when I'm a defender, I go Smoke, Frost, or Valkyrie at the moment. That all three are really, really good. I don't quite like their, their way of going about it. Because one, they all have shotguns I can use. Smoke doesn't have really an SMG that works too well. Um, I like Frost's SMG, but I usually use a shotgun. But I do like the MPX that the Valkyrie has. I don't tend to use her spaz too much, but it is still pretty good. But with these guys, I didn't go Valkyrie because I thought... because. Da, da, da. It's, uh, the EPKA motherfucker guy was constantly going Valkyrie in the games before, so I was like, okay, well, I just won't go that so he can use it. Because that's the good thing about playing with people you normally play with, is that you kind of get a feel for who goes for what, so you know what you can and can't do. <laughs> the reason why it took so long to go past right there was because in the last game we are on Yacht, the we played Yacht twice, um, and we are going one time with um, Claymore, and I put my shield at the door so they would have to jump over it, so we can also barricade it, as well as, like, have a frost trap line down somewhere, right? And I put it a bit too far away from the door, so, you, like, it wasn't that good, so it had to be, like, moved back a bit, but I didn't have time enough to do it, so they could literally use it as a shield for their own purposes, and still get into the door really easily. And the reason why I just undid that right there, because I wanted it to kind of look uniform, I wanted it to look like it was meant to be there, so in case they did go through there, it would catch them off guard. This one, I was really just the roaming person. I was putting up, I was going to put up a reinforcement on top of here, so that they wouldn't try and break through. And I just wanted to be, like, up on top and just moving around, because down there, I don't like being down there. Although, up here, you're really vulnerable when, when someone uses glass, if they know how to use it properly. I just felt like being up here was the right move. So, I see him, and I'm freaking out, like, oh shit, he's down there. I didn't want to let him know I was there just quite yet. And I told him, there's one guy down here. I used those as an indicator, and I shot him right in the head. Whack. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so... I didn't want to let them know I was there just too soon, but then this guy was playing around me. It was going from side to side, side to side, not letting me know which side it was going on. And one of the times I just kind of moved up forward, I think. Did I? Oh. Yeah, I did. I moved up right here and I had the shotgun because it was a blitz and I was just freaking out and just fucking him. I was freaking out. I freaked out. And when I'm put freaking out, I accidentally pushed down my six a bit too much. That's why I stabbed. And I was just aiming for the spot on his shield that he can't quite cover too well. I didn't want to go down there because I was pretty sure they had that side covered and I was just waiting to find out. Then I heard they were down there so I was like, okay, maybe I should check down there. But then they said, no, the last two guys are on their side. The last two guys are on their side. So I'm running over there to try and like, you know, come from behind them. And as I'm doing that, this is just literally the process of me running over there. I'm just kind of just working my way around to check the area to make sure I'm, I'm making a shit ton of noise though and it's so stupid that I'm making so much noise but I'm kind of working my way slowly around to try and see if I can come from behind them and then they said they changed sides that they went to the other side I was like well 
fuck, I can't just get in there because then it will leave a way open for them. So I went, decided to go around the complete other direction and go back to the side I was on. I shouldn't have ran. Honestly, I should not have ran. But if I hadn't have ran, it wouldn't have gone the way it did. So this is around the time where I started to slow down a bit because if they were below me, they'd hear me through the roof and I just wanted to kind of keep it cool, go slow. And then they started to get the objective. So I really started to rush in there. And next thing I know, my guy is down. They don't know he's down. And that's Toby that was down. They don't know he's down, but I know where they are and they're right there. So I just spray the fuck out of them, get them down, round one. Flanked, fucked up. Whack, 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 whack. That's the good thing about the frost is she has a really good. So don't tell me, don't ask me why I decided to go glass for this. I don't know why I wanted to go glass for this round. I think this is the the round that I did really well with glass. I'm not too sure. I, I don't know if I went two or three times with him because it was literally so long ago. I don't remember too well. But I know on presidential plane that glass is the only one that can shoot through the windows. And even up close at the doors where they're just trying to wait for you to go through the door, you can still shoot them and fuck them up. One shot to the head through the glass will still kill them, and it takes uh, two shots through the glass to the body to kill them. Or it's three, depending on how well you hit them. I was running around trying to find where they are, and as soon as they said they were in the middle, I was like, fuck yes, okay, we've got a good spot for Glaz, and I can, I'm going to take the wing. I'm making sure it's not in here in case it isn't here. And we've, Toby found the objective. So we're running straight through. Everyone's just trying to get their way through. And they see me, I'm like freaking out. I end up jumping in the, like, the seat. I was hoping he didn't get to me. And I went over to this side. Wait, did I? I thought I went over to the other side. No, wait. Yeah, okay, I did. I piloted my drone back in after he thought I, would, I was gone. To put it into that corner. To really just fuck with him a bit more. Then I think one of them saw me. Because then I left it there like that. I think before they destroyed it, and then Toby just keeps tagging people with him. No, okay. That was me that left there and it got shot. Toby just likes to tag when there's a camera there. Doesn't like to use it as surveillance and then just not let them know that you've got a camera in there. So I know that with Glaz, <clears throat> it's really good to go through the window, but I already have a suppressor on this shit. Shooting through the presidential plane's window with a suppressor is not the easiest thing to do. I fucked up so many shots, I started to hit him, I got one down. It took four shots to get him down. Suppressor, presidential planes, windows, to the body. Four shots is what that took for me to get there. So another one there, because they were all just roaming around. They didn't care. They didn't think I was doing it. I got him twice, and he still didn't die. He was so close to dead, I was just trying to fake a random shot to see if I could get him. At this point, they're telling me, you know, they're coming in from this side. There's people hitting him on this side. I'm like, okay, well, I don't even know how many times I've just hit him there. I was like, three times I hit him then? He's still not dead. I don't know if it's a new person or not. But they were going through that side and they were getting attacked. Yippee I decided to go around this side onto the left side of the screen to see if it would do any better. <sighs> I tried to get as high a spot as I could so I can actually see properly in. And then Doofa, again, with the rushes with the shotgun every single goddamn time. He kept doing it. And I don't know why we didn't learn. I nailed him in the head again. So I took down two of them. I think I ended up taking down one more, I'm not too sure. And I'm just thinking, holy shit, where is it? I can't look away, otherwise the second they show their head, I'm gonna miss my shot. But the last thing I was expecting to happen is that. For Duffer to come out the side again, he was being a right real shit over that side, right? He did that another like two times or something like that. It was so annoying, because I wasn't expecting it to happen. I kept looking in thinking, you know, maybe he's gonna go back into the objective. But no, he stays on that side to go do it again. And I kept missing my shots. Then I had to face off two of them while your Ipikai motherfucker was alive. That's where Ipikai. I, I was just trying to work my way back so they could not hit me. But Duffer aimed it well and got me with shotgun. Wait, is that the shotgun or is Deagle? No, this is Deagle. So all we had was to tell him that, you know, this is happening there and it's in there. You can blow through this wall, but that's the best you can do. But then he walked in, realized it's open and decides to just, you know, fuck it, I'm gonna go for this best I can. And I'm pretty sure he gets nailed here. Because there's, there's a guy lying in the background. Seeing it now, I can see where he is. But in the moment, you didn't see the guy lying on the floor behind him. He's trying to go long distance with a shotgun too. That's not gonna work out too well, right? 
gets nailed by the guy in the back with a little SMG. In hindsight, we probably should have got that round, but we just ended up choking every... Ooh. Choking on most of the points we could. Now, we were, quite, we were doing quite well that night. We had always gotten secure the area. I think one or two times we got um, hostage, and one time we got bomb. Every other time it was secure the area, and I was actually doing really, really well that whole night. Like, one point I was going 11 and 2, 11 and 4. I went 9 and 6 on one game, and then I went like 12 and 3. That, that was probably my best KD game, but the gameplay itself was really, really shitty. So I didn't bother with it. This is a fairly interesting game to me, at least. I was going to put it up there, but I realized, wait, wait, that's over a fucking stairwell. I'm not going to worry about that. Right there is where it's going to matter because they can't blow through the door and just walk straight through. At least over the stairwell, you know, they can't walk through and I'm better off just putting it up here so they can't just have instant access. Now, don't ask me why I went for this strategy coming up because I really don't know why. I was... I was... This... I was doing it to this drone before. I was doing this drone, this thing to the exact drone before. I was going around the thing, so I just wanted to get rid of the fucking drone. Because I hate it when people do that. But it's fun to do it yourself. I like to put my frost traps in random spots where they won't be thinking it would be in. But because this motherfucking spring trap, the spring wire was already there, I couldn't put it down in the center so they wouldn't see it. So I decided to put that up so they wouldn't know it's, try to not know it's there, but they'd probably hear it easy. But, you know, they think, okay, it's just the razor wire, I'll shoot out the wire, it'll be fine, I'll be good from there. I decided to go from here, I was I was worried in case they'd have a glass, but they hadn't been, we had played against this exact team for like five games in a row, like it was a good set of things that like no one wanted to leave. I was chilling right over here, thinking maybe they're going to come from this side, if they come from this side, I'll at least be ready and give them the info. It was at this point... I saw one, but they kept saying there was two coming from the other side. There was three people coming from this side. I only saw two. And I was just going to see if I could try and spray randomly through that. Hold on. Neighbor across the road. Okay, so I got spotted. I was like, fuck, fuck, fuck. I need to get rid of this camera. Otherwise, they're just going to have this over me. I got that one, but I didn't realize they were going to throw in another one. So what I was doing a couple games before on plane... I lie down right there waiting for them to come through. Because you don't always see that little hole right there. And just as they were coming through, I was like, fuck, I'm going to get him. I nailed him down. But that was only one of them. There was another two guys there. I got that one, but I didn't realize there was going to be a blitz. But the blitz has the shield and the pistol. All he was doing was trying to nail that spot in the hopes to get me. Toby was trying to push it, and then I'm pretty sure he just gets nailed at that push. I'm waiting for him to kind of show his head. Because I was looking at that window to the left of where I'm aiming to see if he was hiding over that side, if he's going to come around the right. So it'll give me an idea of what side to shoot from. Then I didn't notice that the blitz had changed sides. The last guy was still right here and he was droning around. I was like, we got to push for him. Yippie Kaye said he was hiding upstairs, like in the, um, in the pilot section. So we're like, okay, well... He's obviously not. We just tagged him then. He's he's outside. He was uh, he was where I was shooting. Toby goes to the push. I told him not to push because it's just stupid. He can easily get you. And he pushed it, got the kill. We got the second round. And it went to a tie-breaking thing. I'm pretty sure there was another pres presidential plane. Or this was the round that was just really, really, really intense. Because so I'm pretty sure I did the exact same strategy again. And that was when Blitz really came in for it. <sighs> Lose my breath here. Now we're all Australian and we all don't not we don't have the best kind of internet, that's why it's like a hundred ping. Plus the fact that you know I was do, just doing a just a simple gameplay stream to the best of my ability. Because I set it up in a certain way that I was streaming it, but it was streaming at like a couple minutes delay so that it wouldn't use as much like internet speed. I decided to try and get rid of as many drones as I possibly can so that they wouldn't be able to see in. I was like, fuck yeah, get rid of those damn drones. I wasn't sure where to put my other two traps, so I kind of go for spots that just weren't expected. Because we were over the other side of the thing, I was ex I wasn't hope I was thinking that they might not expect a frost trap to be this far away, and then for another one to be right after it. What I was going to do is I was going to put the barricades up, so that way they're like, okay, we got rid of this one. They're not going to. They're not going to put two in a row and they just get fucked up. 
So I put up a barricade here, and went back to the exact same spot as last round. Reloading. I walked my way over there, hoping that they wouldn't see me. I was looking at the windows, making sure they weren't coming through. And I was just staring at the window, waiting to see if they'll come. They said a couple of people were coming from the other side because they had already seen them, but they weren't able to shoot them. I wasn't going to shoot a hole in the wall and give away my position in case they weren't actually coming. So obviously there was one there, but then I started getting spotted by the camera again. They kept toying with my emotions here, pissing me off with a damn camera. I was hoping that because they were trying to shoot at me from there, I could hit them by accident with a shotgun. Now that drone was so pissing me off, I just had to get rid of it, but I knew I couldn't. If I tried to get rid of it, I would get fucked up myself. Now I could see the blitz and I knew I could not get around him. I needed to wait for him to kind of come through, but at the same time, I couldn't wait. I wanted this drone gone so fucking bad though too. Like it was pissing me off, something fierce. I could hear him come through, I was like, oh shit, I need to make up my mind. Do I go for the drone or do I go for him? I shot one last time at the drone in the hopes and went for him. I was almost dead. I was like, fuck, fuck, fuck. This is a stupid decision. This is a stupid decision. I'm going to fucking die. Next thing I know, they're coming through and I don't know how to deal with this right now. Because usually there's someone else with me or someone else to help back me up. They fuse, they ash in and I could not deal with it. I got hit by, I think it was Thermite, Thermite, and that was when I died. See, I'm not sure if we actually won this round or not. I was trying to tag as many people as I could and Blitz got the camera there. I was looking for good camera angles in the hopes that I could see him. I knew that they were coming down there and I said to Toby, there's going to be people coming down that way. You need to make sure that when you see them, you shoot at them straight away. I, don't, I can't tell you when they're coming because there's no more cameras anymore. I was hoping that someone would get hit by the frost trap and I could see properly, but thankfully someone had put a camera here so I could tell them if someone was coming past at that, like at that exact corner. And all four of them were over here. Yippee-ki-yay got one of them. We got the next one. But we got, like, Thatcher. He got the blitz down, but he couldn't, like, you know, kill him. So he was waiting for them to kind of make a move. And then, they, like, he was trying to throw a C4 out to them. The next thing, you know, they took out the camera. He was on his own. And we were just waiting. Waiting and seeing what happens. Yippee-ki-yay got down. And Claymore, I'm pretty sure Claymore picked him up. He was waiting for, I think it was the... Who did he get down? I think it was Dufa, the, the, the shield. I'm pretty sure it was Dufa. I'm not, I'm not sure who... I'm not sure who got killed. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure they both died. One died and then the other one died. They not died at the same time. Okay, he died, that's when it came down to two. Figure of speech was upstairs. They didn't know he was upstairs. So he was trying to come around down from behind. But I think he was going a bit too fast. He should have left it for another like 10 seconds or so when they tried to push on Toby down that hallway. Because they had no way they were going to be able to get around the other side of the plane in time. Unless they went from upstairs. So they had to push from that exact doorway. And Toby looked at that door because he was wondering like where they're going to try and go through. He got one of them. And then he was trying to find the next one. Couldn't see him. And then they ran out of time, and we won the round. He saw him at the last second, still tried to go for the shot, even though it wouldn't kill him, and that was the game done. It was probably one of the better games of the night. It was very communicative, especially at the time. It would have been better if we had the whole, like, talking in it. But as I said before, I didn't really get the, the chat for it. I didn't really want the chat for it at the time, because I didn't think it would be something that I'd try and upload or commentate over. So that was the game. I MVP'd four times in a row that night, four times in a row. And every single game, I was either first or second. We kept playing against these people consistently, and it was just good fun. But other than that, that's been the video. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to see more of this, I'll leave the little the highlight of the me getting the guy to kill the hostage with my drone after I do this outro. So thank you guys for watching. If there's anything else you want to see, leave it down below. Watch my Titanfall video that I'll be releasing hell soon. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.